Hi everybody, this is Bentley the Compost Guy, Christy here. And this video is all about what I refer to as my turbo light harvesting method. I just wanted to demonstrate for everybody what I mean by turbo light harvesting. And hopefully this will help some people um, in terms of, of harvesting their, their vermicompost and of course their worms. Now for those of you who are familiar with vermicomposting and maybe spend a few years involved in it, you'll probably be familiar with what's known as the light harvesting method. And essentially the principles involved here is the fact that these composting worms and worms in general do not like light at all. And they will do whatever they can to move away from the light. So the idea is that basically you put a tarp out on the floor or out on your deck and you dump the contents of your worm bin on this tarp or piece of plastic and then you basically move away the material gradually over time and the worms will continue to dive down to the bottom. Now it sounds great and in theory it's, it's an excellent method. The problem is when you, you put it into practice it can be a bit more of a pain in the neck than you might imagine. Now for one thing you're generally down on all fours when you're doing this so it's a real pain and a pain in your back and a pain in your knees and trust me I've spent a lot of hours using this method and it's it's not a lot of fun. <clears throat> the other thing that I find can be a real real pain in the neck is the fact that when you're using these typical home worm bins, these plastic Rubbermaid type of systems, the material that you're trying to separate from the worms can be very wet. It can be almost like a mud and this is not really conducive to easy harvesting that's for sure so it's difficult to to separate that material it doesn't just sort of brush away and generally you have to leave it sit in the sun for a while and and whatnot just to just to get it to the point where you can actually separate it so that's the, the normal light harvesting method my modified version has sort of come out of necessity uh, as as many of you know I have a small uh, worm business here in Canada different from the one on my red worm composting site but anyway I've, I had to come up with a, a method for separating separating the worms from the, the vermicompost because you know I, I live in a small suburban house I don't have a worm farm per se I don't have enough room for a big rotating screen harvester or anything like that so I, I kinda had to adapt somewhat and come up with a a somewhat different approach and I kind of stumbled on it by accident really. I have these tub systems that you can see here and originally I, I had planned on using them as actual grow beds down in my basement but they've they've uh, become more useful actually as basically holding bins. So I will have very concentrated quantities of worms as you we can see here. Uh, you can't see the worms but there are a lot of worms in this tray and basically just sort of hold the worms for a, t a period of time before I separate them. So as you can see I'll just sort of pan back here a bit. I have this light table here and this is something I obviously used to use to grow plants but I realized that this is the perfect little system for separating my worms so now I basically use it for my turbo method here. So what, y what you'll see is on the one side here I have uh, a material that contains a lot of worms and this actually is a, a bedded horse manure, a moistened bedded horse manure that is fantastic food for them and it's and it's just sort of a, a holding container again that, that I'm going to use to just sort of keep them there until they are separated out based on uh, any orders that I get. Now this one's actually just been just been set up so this is probably going to sit for a number of days and let the worms munch away. It's amazing with these dense concentrations of worms how quickly they will work through this material. But anyway on the other side here this is the actual harvesting tray and you can see there's some material piled up. That's material that's been worked through by the worms and it's and it's really good stuff. There's, there's a lot of castings in there. Is that, whoa, it's actually, oh yeah there's of course there's worms in there surprised there for a minute but yeah this is lots of castings in there lots of worms and it's got a really nice consistency and that's one of the advantages of these these sort of tub systems is it, it lets the air circulate a lot and to dry out the material to a nice consistency and so it's a lot easier to separate 
And these fluorescent lights are very bright. I have some white sort of reflective uh, plastic that helps to even increase the intensity of the light. And basically it's a very, very simple method. It's the same idea as the light harvesting. This system is up on a table so I don't have to bend over or, or uh, otherwise strain myself. And basically I just do exactly the same thing that I would do with the regular light harvesting method. I just sort of move this material. One thing I do as I am moving it to the one side is I'll just do a quick quick uh, sorting like that just to make sure that and there's a worm right there. I, what you want to avoid obviously this is it, from a business perspective if you're doing this at home you can just do it at a leisurely pace and it's nice and relaxing it doesn't really matter but if you are setting up your own small business small worm business you're obviously time time is very important so you don't want to be spending too too much time doing this so I try to get through this material as quickly as I can and if there's a few worms left behind there's obviously going to be lots of cocoons and probably baby worms and that's totally fine I don't actually sell castings uh, I, I have a pretty extensive garden out in my yard and this material basically just goes outside so I don't mind if there is a fair amount of leftover uh, worm population there because they will certainly have a safe habitat to go to out in my uh, vermicomposting trenches and these other <clears throat> systems that I have associated with my gardens. So now there's, there's a number of things to mention aside from light you can use vibration to your advantage that is that is uh, another thing that worms don't like and as you, you what you'll find is just just gently rubbing the top of this will send those worms down so you don't, they don't actually have to be exposed to light even just a light brushing you can use a brush I've tried a, a small broom and it worked okay because it removed such a small amount of material it, it uh, you didn't really hit hit the worms quite as quickly as you do when you're just doing it with your fingers but I just didn't like the, the stuff got all over the brush and it was kind of a pain that way so uh, what I like about this also is you're keeping this other material separate and you can see that we're, we're actually moving it down quite quickly here now this material here just sort of goes into nothing fancy you just drop it in a bucket and that's basically it. just get it out of my way so that I can continue on with my harvesting now I don't know that I'll have enough time here just to get completely to the bottom but as you can see I have been moving through this stuff quite quickly and it really won't be much longer before I have a nice mass of worms down at the bottom now if you're doing this with with a sort of home worm tub type of system the rubber made type of system you can see I'm actually getting to a point where I'm starting to hit worms a bit more regularity so what, what you might do let's just take a break from what I was talking about and talk about this for a minute what you might do at this point is to loosen up this material and maybe just go away and, and have a coffee or whatever let that light go to work for you rather than sitting here waiting for the worms to go down and it should drive them down all right well I'm actually getting pretty close to the limit of my uh, video here as far as the time goes so I'm gonna leave it at that I think I've given you a pretty good idea of what this turbo light harvesting method is all about you can see there's a real dense patch of worms down at the bottom if I had kept going I would have had almost pure worms there